Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2017. My next guest is Dr. Caroline Wynne, Director of Technology Policy at Microsoft. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. So, what role do you think technology can play in advancing SDGs? Yes, yeah, so thank you for the question. I think technology is the foundation. It's an absolutely necessary element for enabling the SDGs. So we talk about, for example, enabling connectivity and access. That's a first essential element. However, it's necessary, but it's not sufficient. Um, in terms of when we start to look at how do you realize the SDGs, how do you make them real? And so from that perspective, we need to look at the larger ecosystem. So the first thing is technology is a tool. So we need to look at what are the problems that it needs to be employed for, it needs to be used for, what are the problems that needs to be solved? Is it education, health, or is it all of the above? But let's start from the perspective of what is the problem that we need to solve, and then who are the stakeholders, who are the partners at the table who can contribute to developing an innovative solution and approach to solving that problem? What can each party bring to the table, and what can each party take away from the table that will to make these initiatives sustainable and then when we start to look at you know in terms of the approaches then there are four sets of considerations economic social cultural technology and the governance so technology is one of those components if I may I should also add that the International Chamber of Commerce the Digital Economy Commission on Monday launched a paper that talks about this holistic framework in terms of how do we how can we all work together and what are the tools that we can bring to the table to realize the SDGs so it's not just about technology it's also about people and collaboration it, absolutely very very much so so tell us about your efforts as a company to advance SDGs Yes. So specifically in terms of the efforts, we engage in initiatives around the world. I can use one example. Uh, for example, in um, Kenya, uh, we actually at the Internet Governance Forum in 2011 learned about a problem in terms of connectivity and access in a very rural and remote area in Kenya. So what we did there then is to work with the government locally, with the communities, with a flower farm, with a school to identify what are the needs, what would be practicable and what would be impactful in terms of the local needs. So that's then, then we all come together and say what are the technology elements that can be put together and that included for example solar energy because the, the village is off the energy grid. And so one of the solutions that were done was to use a shipping container to build out an internet cafe and a local young man can then now come into the internet cafe, access the information that's provided by the cloud, learn the technology, and then actually um, answer technical questions uh, from all around the world. And then he makes more than enough money in order when in terms of the amount that he needed to pay for internet access. So in that example, we talk about not just providing the infrastructure, but also the capacity building. How do we build out the basics and the foundation for the digital economy locally? And then how do we enable the community to work on? For go to go forward to unleash the power of the digital economy and then to get at the address the challenges of the SDGs itself. It's one proof point, but then we provide a local systems integrator with limited amounts of funds that can then be used as a stepping point to um, ask for additional funding from the development organizations, the World Bank, the development banks, etc. So one step at a time, we're trying to be incredibly practical in terms of how technology and how we can all work together to make the SDGs real. Connectivity is indeed a very important theme this year at the WISIS Forum. So is inclusion. Absolutely. So what role do you think technology can play in advancing women's rights and empowerment? Absolutely. So as a, as a company, we believe in working together to establish technology that's trustworthy, responsible and inclusive. So accessibility in terms of enabling, bringing on board um, th let me just, previously disadvantaged populations, that means that these um, are 
people who are not able to engage in lives normally. So we work with the UN foundations um, in terms of our accessibility solutions. Uh, but also an important divide that absolutely needs to be addressed is the gender divide. Uh, women, only 37% of women are connected worldwide. So when we talk about connecting the unconnected, we absolutely need to think about empowering women and girls. Um, there are some statistics out there in terms of if you give a woman a dollar, what she would do with that is to teach her children and also reach out to the community. So there is a multiplication factor that has been proven with different studies in terms of women enabling, building that next generation, again, the term impactful and sustainability, as well as building out the community. We're absolutely a strong believer in that. Dr. Carolyn Wynn, Director of Technology Policy at Microsoft, thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time.